This video is made possible by EA Game Changers. Thanks EA. Welcome to the Cafe Culture update in The Sims Free Play. This update comes out on the 22nd of October 2019. And we have a ton of things available in this update. If you are interested in all of the other different events and things, make sure you check out the description where I will share a link to all of the other videos I have completed surrounding this update as well as a main overview if you just want to know everything that's coming and when it's coming. In this video, we are going to check out the new Downtown Developer event. It has the potential to confuse people. I know it kind of confused me when I tried to get my head around it the first time. If I haven't explained it well enough or if you do have any additional questions, please do leave them down below in the comments and I will try my best to help you out. I have run through the event a few times myself and have some information from Sims Free Play and I've got to be honest, I'm still slightly confused with it, but I will try my best to explain it to you. So when you update the game, you will get this pop-up that says new downtown developer. A glamorous apartment block lot and a three-story apartment await as part of a new downtown developer event. If you haven't already, reach level 13 and complete the Simtown Express discovery quest in the bottom left corner of the map. And this will unlock the downtown district and access to start building. So you've got to have unlocked the downtown district to start this. If you haven't unlocked the downtown you won't be able to do this. Obviously, it's downtown developer. This can be started whenever you want. There is no time limit. It's kind of a little bit like a discovery quest. But to access it, if you go over to the downtown district and up in kind of like the top left kind of corner, you will see this here, downtown developer site. And you need to build this or rather than build it, demolish this. You'll have certain requirements there. Just like when you're building something, there's a time frame on it, there's a cost to it, and you'll need a certain amount of sims. So you click on demolish, and that will get this started. Once it's demolished, you'll have this, and you'll be able to start the downtown developer. Now, this has the potential in terms of timings. This potentially could run 30 days or longer which seems crazy to me and I kind of can't get my head around how it could take longer than that but apparently it can. You'll get this where you can start it or you can hire help. Whenever I click on hire help it won't allow me to. Flight mode is not on and I am on wi-fi. I don't know why that won't work but it is just not working. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start. If you complete this within the time limit, you'll earn a luxury three-story apartment. Just by completing it, you will earn a brand new downtown high-rise with an empty three-story lot. So we've only ever been able to do two stories with the high-rises, whereas now we will be able to do three. So let's start, and I will take you through the grid for it. There is, as always, kind of like a little tutorial to help us. By all means, kind of pause and read that. I'm not going to read through what we need to do because basically we just need to open the downtown developer menu over here and here is the downtown developer menu you can see it is separated into various stages and you have a time limit on so by to get to stage one there is no time limit but to get to stage two you have a time limit of three days to get there from now so as soon as you start you've got three days to get up to stage two and then as you go along stage four there will be a time limit to get to there Stage six, there will be a time limit and obviously a prize as well. And the grand prize, there's a time limit to get to there. In order to progress through, you will see down here, there are the current stage requirements. So you need to collect some granite here to complete stage one. But let's just go back because all it's asked us to do at the moment was to just go into that menu. Now it's asking us to view major stage deadlines Again, if you'd like to read that, by all means, go ahead. But the major stage deadlines are just what we were talking about there, the three days, the stage two, the stage four, the stage six, and the final prize. They're the major deadlines that you need to reach within the certain time. The minor ones are like the stage one, the stage three, stage five, stage seven, and stage eight, where it's either simoleons or LP or SP prizes. You can also click on the magnifying glass there to get a more in-depth look at what you're going to win in that major stage. So you can see you're going to get floor one, two LPs, two SPs, and you'll also get some glass, which you will need later on. You can see what you're going to get with stage four. 
and also what you're going to get with stage six and actually also what you're going to get as the grand prize there you do get some lps and some sps with the grand prize but we have checked that out so let's go back and that is task completed now it says go to the resource location again pause that if you want to in essence you receive a 24 hour permit to collect various different resources we've got our first 24 hour permit to collect granite and we can go to various different locations around simtown it will show you here you have 24 hour permit to collect granite shards at the swimming center there's a countdown there and we need to get if we look at our stage requirements we need to get one whole piece of granite two shards make up one whole piece so we need to go and find two shards of granite to make up one whole piece of granite i hope that makes sense so let's just go over to the swimming center and then now it says assign a sim to an x so you will see if i call two sims over here there are two x's you assign a sim there collect shard is three hours and 55 minutes it says review resource progress shard collection is underway two shards are required to complete the granite resource remember only whole resources not shards are saved at the end of the day so let's just go back in it's telling us to go and check so we can see that one person is collecting if you click on there and visit or review resource progress done let's just come off that i'm going to get someone else collecting shard here you always want to be making sure that someone is on both x's so you're making the most of the time the next timer is locked it only starts when the previous major stage is completed that gives you breathing room to complete the current major stage so this stage four is locked at the moment so the timer isn't running down on that which is fine all well and good you can see under here our 24 hour permit you can get joe the geologist here but it's not working for me <laughs> he can help you and you can see your sims collecting shard there if you are wanting to speed up let me just show you that if you click on the actual sim that is costing me 24 sp but if you go into the downtown developer menu it's only costing 17 i don't know whether that's a thing with this demo game or what but it's always cheaper for me, when I've been testing it, it's always cheaper to come in here and speed it up if you are wanting to speed up. So let's just speed up here. You see we get one shard there, and we'll skip that as well. So we have collected one whole granite, and that's stage complete on the first stage. And we got our rewards. We have now got another swimming centre granite permit for 24 hours, so we can continue to collect granite shards here. So let's just keep keep going get two sims doing that and then we will skip them and we have made one whole piece of granite it said there the progress let me show you again if we go collect a shard collect a shard and then if we speed speed these up granite progress one of two shards done and current stage granite progress you can see there three out of six so we've collected three pieces of granite and we need six so realistically you just kind of just need to keep going with the collection until it tells you you have enough of whatever you need you can see the progress bar at the top moving along to stage two whenever we collect more granite if you want to skip the current stage requirements you can come down here you can see we've collected four out of six granite pieces you can skip all using sp it costs 29 sp for me to, to skip this particular part we skip that and then up along the top you can see we've completed stage two so major stage complete congratulations you completed a major stage of the build completion rewards have been credited to your account time to celebrate little celebration there lovely <laughs> with the fireworks and there we go the candlelit fork restaurant granite permit has been issued so we've got a granite permit for somewhere else a 24 hour permit for somewhere else in simtown if we go into the menu you can see now the next prize is up to stage three you can see down here the current stage requirements are seven pieces of granite and four pieces of glass but we already have one piece of glass here so at the moment we can't collect any glass 
we can only collect granite shards that's the only thing we have got a permit for at the moment so you would go over and collect your granite shards you need seven full pieces of granite so you need 14 granite shards to complete this stage and then you will also get a pop-up for a 24 hour permit to collect glass parts too I have collected all the granite parts and now you can see that there has been a glass permit issued, a 24 hour glass permit. So we can now go ahead and start collecting glass. It is over at the snow park. So if we head over and just click on it, you can see there are two X's there where you just start collecting a shard of glass. And if you take a look in here, you can see that you need three shards of glass for one piece of glass. So this is just slightly this is going to take you slightly longer to collect the glass shards. And then there we go, stage three is completed and we have earned five SP. Now we move on, oh, we have a granite permit issued for the snow park. You can see if we come down, current stage requirements are, we need 11 pieces of granite, but we already have seven and we need eight pieces of glass, but we already have four. So you just need to continue Basically, just do what it says here. Whatever the 24 hour permit is allowing you to collect shards of either granite, glass, or later on it will be gold as well. Wherever it's telling you to go, just go and get your Sims collecting the shards until it's told you that you have enough for that stage. And when you have enough, there you go. You will have completed the next major stage. Let's celebrate that with some more fireworks. You can see that the building is getting taller. We've completed like the next level there. And we have been given another permit. But if we go in, we can see we've got stage five to complete here. And the requirements for that are four pieces of granite, two pieces of glass and one and two gold where we already have one. We have collected the granite and the glass. You can see this is our first gold permit and it's for the park. And if we go and have a look, you can see that to make one piece of gold, you need four shards. So it's two shards for the granite, three shards for the glass and four shards for the gold. So you just need to head over to where it says and collect gold shards until you have completed stage five. And then you move on to stage six, which is the major goal. And you can see here, we need eight granite, but we've already got four, five glass, but we've already got two, and four gold, but we already have two. So you just need to follow, do what it says, head over to the snow park and collect granite shards until you have enough. And there we go, major stage completed. Let's celebrate that one with a few more fireworks. And let's head back in. So we have completed stage six. You can see we are well on our way to the final prize. You can see there that we have 15 days. There's the time limit underneath. That's now become unlocked. We have 15 days to reach the end for the grand prize. Obviously collecting these prizes, the little minor prizes of 10,000 simoleons and 15 LP along the way. Here we go, we've made it to stage seven and stage eight becomes unlocked for us and again just keep completing keep collecting the shards until you have completed the next stage here we go stage eight is completed and now on the final push there to the grand prize you can see what you need there 24 granite but we already have 18 16 glass we already have 13 13 gold but we already have 11 and you can see how much it costs to skip there Let's go ahead and collect those shards. All done, shards all collected. Final stage complete. Congratulations, you've completed the final stage of your downtown development. Completion rewards have been credited to your account and you can now build a brand new three-story apartment in downtown. Time to celebrate the culmination of all your hard work. Limited time prize earned. So we did get the three-story luxury apartment because we did it within the time period. I am gonna do a tour of that apartment. Not in this video, because it will get too long, but make sure you check the description for a link to a tour of this luxury apartment. But this is what it looks like on the town map. It just kind of becomes a buildable lot. If you click on it here, you can see you can do an empty three-story place there. Because we did it in the time frame, you get the luxury three-story. Check out the description box for that link. You can also just build penthouse apartments up here 
if you would like, but why would you? Surely you're going to build a three-story or luxury three-story. I hope most of that makes sense. Like I said at the beginning, please do leave any questions that you have about this down below in the comments and I will try my best to help out. I'm very excited to kind of have something new in the game and I'm really looking forward on getting started with this. Although I have a feeling it may become a little bit repetitive collecting these shards over like 30 days, but we will wait and see. I'll reserve my judgment until it actually comes out in the game and I play through it in for real in my own game. Let me know what you think down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.